a blank PowerPoint slide. We come here to insert shapes. Let's think for rounded corners. Let's draw a rounded corner. And let's draw a circle that kind of represents the logo. Click here, have the transparent background, and let's have the outline again for a four and a half. We can add some text to the credit card. One, two, three, four, uh, four, five, eight, whatever. And this we have like the text. We want to add the expiration date or the CVC, although it never happens on the bottom on the bottom. Can add another rectangle in here, kind of like a placeholder. And to make it more decorative, you can just copy and paste this rectangle and place it around here. Make it thinner, make it longer. Let's just copy and paste it. Go in here. We can make it this a little bit longer. Wait, they need to be the same set. Okay. Just make it here longer. Okay. Here. Copy and paste it here on the back, on the bottom. Then we can select them all. Click here and align. Align right. And they look thick. You just select them all, go here to format, and half them, 1.5. Okay, this looks okay. And there we have it. We have a credit card in here. We can make this a little bit. Okay, and here we have a credit card. The advantage of having, of creating your own PowerPoint icons is that it looks sharp. It doesn't matter the, the screen. It's always going to look good because it was generated with the same PowerPoint. One last thing that I that I like to add is that group them. Select them all, right click on them, group, and group. <laughs> this will allow you to move freely the whole image, I mean the your, your your icon without any problems, and you can shrink them or scale them without any issues. I'm gonna make the, the other one. We can come here to insert shapes, rounded rectangle. Again, we draw a rounded rectangle here. Come here to shape fill, have it transparent, shape outline, weight, four and a half. And let's recreate the band. The band is pretty simple. We can come here and just add a simple rectangle here to the top. The band a little bit smaller. And for it to perfectly blend with the with the background, let's remove the outline. And let's check that the outline is using the same color. I think it's using the same color. And with that, it, it blends in. The next thing we can do is add a couple of rectangles symbolizing, again, the numbers and the expiration date. And there we have it. There we have our credit card in PowerPoint. The next thing would be to create some sort of stopwatch. Just create a new slide. Come here to insert, shapes, oval, shift right click and create a perfect circle with this one. Shape fill, shape outline, have it wait again, four and a half or six. And we're gonna come here again to oval, shift here to create a small small oval, control C, control V, and or command C, command V, and let's paste them around in the middle. Now, going to select the three of them, we're gonna come here to home, arrange, align, and we're going to check that align selected object is selected. We're gonna click here distribute horizontally. With this, our ends and beginnings of the circles and the bigger circle are aligned. They have the same distance. 
the second thing would be to select both of them, group them, and then copy and paste them on top. And with shift, and I can I am able to rotate. Then let me place, the, it doesn't matter where I place it because I'm going to shift, click all of them. Click here on align center, or rem I just added this one to the quick toolbar, arrange, align, align center, arrange, align, align middle. And with this one, we have it perfectly in the middle. The next thing that we're going to, to do is to copy and paste. Again, here from the top. And place them right in the middle. It doesn't matter again, because we're going to, to, to rotate them anyways. Come here to, to the rotation handle, shift, and see how it, they rotate. I think they rotate in, in some 20, 20 something degrees. Rotate them, and once we have it, we are going to have it in a good position. Copy and paste them again and instead of flipping them we can just I mean instead of manually rotating them we can just come here to format having them selected rotate and say flip vertical and this will have it now we're just going to select them all and do the same procedure to say align align center align align middle and with this we're going to have all those guys wait a minute Wait a minute, wait a minute, something super important that I was missing. These two are not aligned in the center. So, that's bad. Nope, that's pretty bad. Yep, they're not aligned. Let me quickly remove it since I already explained the whole procedure. I'm just going to make, th make them a little bit faster. I'm going to click here, align metal. Here, already have it, but just to be sure. Okay. Now, Control C, Control V, rotate them a little bit. Here, copy and paste. Rotate them or flip them. It doesn't align. Wait, rotate them. Flip vertical. Select them all. Then arrange, align center. Arrange, align metal. And here we have our Make the core of our stopwatch. We can Control G, Command G to, to group them. And let's add here in shapes. Let's look again for the rounded corner rectangle. I'm gonna click this guy. Something. Okay. We're gonna recreate the rounded rectangle, and we're gonna zoom in. And we see that we have here this bar, this handle that we can make this with more with more roundiness. It's going to help us creating the, the hand for the for the stopwatch. I'm going to shrink it a little bit. I'm gonna add it here. And let's move it here. Let's copy and paste it. And we can either rotate it manually by using shift, put it to a vertical position or put it in, the, in however you want. Have them together. Can make this one shorter. We want to make it more natural, Just like this, pointing at two, and select them both. Click on shape fill, and let's no no let's click on shape outline and remove the outline. With this, they're going to be blended all together. Once you have it, again, select them all, group them, or right click group and group. And now let's add the top. For the top, we can come here to insert, have a rectangle, draw a small rectangle in here. Don't worry too much about aligning them, just select them both. Come here, align, align center. Try the top to match the outline and then for the top we can come to insert shapes and add another rounded rectangle place it on the top and you can leave the outline if you want to 
Or if you want to make it seamless, you can just remove the outline altogether and this would blend it here. With this, we have created our own PowerPoint icons. This probably doesn't look as, as good as the other one. You can just, I think that what makes it better looking would be to add additional weight to it. We can tweak it a little bit further. But that's, that's it for this video. There, there is going to be more explanation on how you can approach and create your own icons in future videos. For now, let's leave it here it, because it's going to be super long. And comment on what are the icons that, that you guys think that, that, that you guys are going to make with this one. What are your challenges? And whether, whether or not you're going to use it for your next PowerPoint presentation. If you like this video, if you love it, if you, want, if you want me to make more of them, let me know in the comments below. Destroy that like button and click subscribe.